The Coral Sea Cable System is a project that DFAT in conjunction with partners in Solomon Islands and Papua New Guinea have been uh, progressing since about late 2017 and the aim of the project is to bring high-speed internet access to Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands through an undersea cable system. So when it's ready for service at the end of 2019 we'll, we'll have established a company called the Coral Sea Cable Company and that will have three shareholders representing the three governments of Australia, Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands. Beyond Poniara, there will be a Solomon Islands domestic network, which is another undersea cable system that will connect Poniara to three other provinces. It will connect it to uh, Malaita province, Alki being the capital there. It will connect to Noro in Western province, and it will connect to Taro up in uh, Choiseul province. The Coral Sea Cable will have an amazing transformational impact on the government and people of Solomon Islands, who for you know, their entire existence, have not had access to the kind of high speed, high capacity, reliable and cost effective internet uh, access that they'll get through this cable, which has uh, any number of development impacts. For example, the way the government can roll out services, uh, service delivery into the sort of the provinces that are we're connecting up through the Solomon Islands domestic network, to the way businesses can uh, sell their goods to the market through the use of new applications, through mobile phone technology that previously they weren't able to do. How you can take advantage of the cable's capacity and the high-speed connections to have live streaming education services, telemedicine becomes much more viable. So there's a, a whole range of solutions across government and business that will um, further the development of Solomon Islands. Certainly, the involvement of the Australian government in the financing of the cable has made it a lot more cost effective for wholesale prices to be offered at uh, dramatically reduced rates compared to what is currently on offer from, from satellite providers. So I think the government is going to be looking at much more cost effective and affordable packages for both businesses and individuals to access the internet.